Jodhpur, Western Rajasthan, the year 1731 AD. Abhay Singh, the king of Jodhpur, wished to build a new palace. And so he commanded his men to get wood from the nearby villages. The soldiers marched to a village called Khejarli, least expecting what awaited them. Amrita Devi, a young woman, stopped them from cutting the trees. This was against the faith of her community, she explained. In a rare show of courage and defiance, she hugged the trees and declared that the soldiers could axe them down only after they had cut through her. Firm on following their king's order, the soldiers killed Amrita Devi and axed the trees. This triggered a chain of rebellion and one by one, volunteers from 84 villages followed suit. They dared the king's men and met the same fate. Over the next few days, 363 brave men and women from the Bishnoi community chose to die for their love of nature. Finally, filled with remorse, the king realized his mistake and asked his men to stop the carnage. Nearly three centuries later, much has changed in the magnificent city of Jodhpur. Dotted with majestic forts and palaces, steeped in epic tales of Rajput valor, the blue city has evolved as a popular tourist destination in India. However, much has still remained unchanged. Spread across several villages around Jodhpur, the Bishnois continue to live and die for their faith by protecting plant and animal life. Following the 29 tenets laid down by their spiritual mentor Jambeshwar in the early 15th century, they have gained recognition as one of the world's earliest environmentalists. Theirs is indeed a unique religion that puts a ban on cutting of trees and killing of animals. Even today, many Bishnois consider it a matter of great pride to be able to die saving a tree or an animal. Today in Kejarli, a silent orchard and a small shrine are a constant reminder of the extraordinary sacrifice made by their ancestors. The Bishnoi fervor to protect the environment evolved not in the rich splendor of nature, but in the arid ruthlessness of the Thar Desert in Rajasthan, where survival is a constant struggle. In this sun-seared, waterless and resource-scarce region, their efforts are exemplary. Driving through the vast expanse of barren land around Jodhpur, if you spot an island of greenery, be sure you are in Bishnoi territory. Lush tracts of village pasture land called Orans, mostly degraded elsewhere, mark their habitat in the vicinity. Also found in abundance here are the Kejuri trees. Held sacred by the Bishnois, Kejuri is a desert tree that can survive the toughest of droughts. With its capacity to improve soil moisture and fertility, it is found in most agricultural fields in this region. However, while other communities often denude the tree for green fodder, the Bishnois strictly restrain from doing so. And despite being a radically Hindu sect, they do not cremate their dead, but bury them to save wood and trees. In the middle of the sandy desert, in Ekal Khori village, Rana Ram Bishnoi's house resembles an oasis. This is a typical Bishnoi household, marked by cleanliness and hygiene. But what sets it apart 
is this little nursery. Rana Ram's labor of love nurtured over the last 30 years, defying the harsh climate. Hugely popular with the children of his village, Rana Ram loves to gather them in his manicured lawn and narrate the folklores of Rajasthan. Besides raising the nursery, Rana Ram also cherishes the time he spends in feeding the deer every day. But what's unusual is this. Herds of wild deer, familiar with his evening calls, respond and gather around him for a small snack. In a way, Rana Ram's unique bond with the deer is the most defining quality of the Bishnoi ethos. In recent years, much of the spotlight cast on the community is because of their fanatic protection of wildlife in the region. It is largely due to their efforts that the endangered species of Indian gazelles and black bucks are still flourishing here. Hundreds of men from the community have died challenging armed poachers in their fight to protect wildlife. So if you're a wildlife enthusiast yearning to catch a glimpse of the black bucks, chances are you will find them feasting in a Bishnoi field. Considered the fastest animal on earth, second only to the cheetah, these shy antelopes are tough to catch. Guided by years of trust, they often stop in a Bishnoi field, self-assured that they will not be chased or hunted here. On the other hand, the Indian gazelles, locally called Chinkara, are a friendlier lot. Don't be surprised if you find them roaming carefree, often right inside a Bishnoi hamlet. In Jajival village, Vishuddhananda a Bishnoi has been serving as a Bishnoi priest for years. His temple grounds often see congregations of devotees, birds and animals alike. Vishuddhanand's most joyous moments are spent with the young deer in the rehabilitation center he started in the temple backyard a few years ago. Here he nurses those young ones left behind, orphaned or injured in the jungle. Once they spring back to health, he sets them free. In times when every meager resource is being exploited, the Bishnois indeed practice a strange, selfless dedication to nature, and one which shows no signs of diminishing. That perhaps explains why, despite the hardships of a desert life, they are a proud race that has prospered more than the others, and will continue to do so even in the future.